If I asked you what you're most proud of, what would you say? Would it be that you graduated from school? Would it be that you cleaned your room today? Would it be something totally different? I was thinking about the moments that I was proud of in my life and I realized that I only have a few. I don't have a car, so I can't say that I worked and bought a car. I definitely don't have a house, so I can't say that I worked and bought a house. Yes, I did put in the hours and a ton more hours to grow this channel to where it is now. And yes, that's something I'm proud of. But outside of that and being proud of my girl graduating, that's pretty much it. Thinking of things that you're proud of when you're young is kind of difficult because there isn't much to be proud of. If you're like 16 and you're in the Olympics, then sure, but I'm talking about us normal people here. I only have two or three moments that I'm truly proud of in my life. And to be honest, I want to work on changing that. I want to work on changing that because I feel like if I'm not proud of the things that I've accomplished, then what's the point of accomplishing them? Am I doing them for nothing? I feel like there has to be some sense of patting yourself on the back every so often. I've said before that I'm extremely critical of myself and most times I'm overly critical of myself. If I post a video that gets 15 views, then I think, well, I have to make better videos. And then I go on this whole video watching binge of how to make better videos. But it was just that one video that did bad. I didn't look at the other videos that got 25 or 30 or 40 views. I'm extremely difficult on myself because I always think that I can do better. I think the reason I felt like that was because as a kid, my self-esteem was never high. I was always shy and I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe in myself so much that when people made fun of me when I was posting videos on YouTube for the first time all the way back in 2012, which was 10 years ago, I stopped uploading videos. Like I said, growing this channel is one of the things that I'm proud of. I think this is because I have this deep passion for making videos and having people watch them and seeing and reading and replying to comments whether they're good or bad. I genuinely enjoy replying to comments and doing all those things. I can confidently say that doing something you feel passionate about is a really good way to feel proud of yourself. It'll give you reasons to feel better about yourself and the things that you're capable of achieving. You also feel better when you're working towards something related to your career or when you're working towards becoming the person that you're striving to become. You also feel proud of yourself when you give your best effort. I know that, you know, sometimes we just feel lazy. We don't feel like getting up. We don't feel like doing something or anything. It happens, we're human. But if you can just get past that little friction of getting out of bed or starting that new project or whatever it is, that can make you feel proud also. It'll make you feel proud because you didn't want to do it, but you still persevered and completed the task. It also feels rewarding when you plan something and execute it. You come up with the plan, what you're going to do, when you're going to do it. And then when you actually give your best effort and everything pans out nicely and falls into place, it feels even better because you did that. And that's something that you'll feel good about. Switching gears really quick. I always had a hard time acknowledging small wins. One thing I've learned as I've gotten older was that every small win is something to celebrate. I'm not saying that you have to go and throw this big party because you got out of bed or you washed the dishes, but it's always good to celebrate the small things that you do. I never believed in celebrating the small wins because I didn't think it was worth it. To be honest, I thought it was a waste of time because I didn't want to seem weak for celebrating small things because my mind was set on bigger things. That's how I used to think. I didn't want to celebrate me getting 100 subscribers because I thought it was too small of a goal to celebrate. That's why now, after I kind of switched my mindset, for every milestone, I post it. I don't throw a big party with balloons or anything like that, but you know, I post it, give myself some good leisure time to just chill and watch videos, and then I get back to work. Don't be afraid to celebrate the small wins. Staying on the topic of celebrating though, remember that it's okay to celebrate, but it's not okay to show off. When you hit a milestone, it feels good. It feels amazing. You get this, 
euphoric feeling and you feel like Tony Stark, you feel like the best person in the room, but I don't want you to be inconsiderate to other people. Let's say someone is going through a tough time mentally or something like that. That might not be the best time to tell someone that you want to go out for food because you just got a new job and now you're making even more money. You see what I mean? There's a time and a place for everything. Make sure you don't let the numbers and success get to your head. Staying humble and down to earth, even when you're at the highest heights, says a lot about someone's character. But I would say the most important thing when it comes to being proud of yourself is having the ability to be proud of others. When someone accomplishes something, if you're proud of them, it's a lot easier to be proud of yourself too. It's a way of kind of switching the perspective to the opposite one and putting your ego and pride aside to help someone celebrate. When we're proud of others, I look at it like an exchange. Okay, well maybe not an exchange because I don't want you to look for someone to be proud of you when you accomplish something, but I mean like spreading good vibes around, right? It's like when you give somebody something with no expectation. You shouldn't be giving people things and doing things for people and helping them with an expectation to get something back. Do it from the good of your heart and it'll find a way back to you. Ending off the video, being proud of yourself is something that you have to learn. As a kid, I never gave myself permission to be proud of myself when I accomplished something. I wasn't proud of myself when I graduated because I didn't think there was anything to be proud of. But now looking back, I should have been proud because that was what, 14 years of going through school? Like I put in the work for 14 years to be able to say I graduated from school. So I should have celebrated it. But like I said, I had my mind on much bigger things, kind of like I do now. I didn't want to celebrate those small 200 and 300 subscriber milestones because my bigger vision and my bigger plan is to help people that are in the same place that I was all those years ago. And I want to help them see that there are much bigger things in life than spending money stupidly and wasting time. I want to accelerate people's realization so they don't spend six or seven years doing all the stupid things that I did. If someone watches my videos and they realize that they were in the same spot or they are in the same spot that I was, but they only wasted three years on it, then I would be happy or I would be proud that I saved someone two or three years of their life. That's something I'll be proud of. But knowing me, I won't celebrate it because then I'll just be trying to help even more people. Either way, like I said, don't be afraid to celebrate small wins because those small wins equal one big win. And then hopefully at the end of your life, you can be proud of what you accomplished. And as always, thanks for watching.